Hello there, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with a stock swish and I'm reviewing Google. This was probably, well, not probably, but it was really one of the top options trades for the week. So on Wednesday, we did the 175 puts that expire, don't expire until next week. Um, but because this was so big, so huge, so massive of a move to the downside yesterday, I got out of the trade. Again, it's important to book money in trades. So again, you can't just take something and hold it until the last day, if it's up a lot, you could lose the profit because things are volatile, things reverse against you. Um, and I was very, very happy the way this went. This, this really was one of the best gaps this week, to be honest with you. Um, in fact, if you held it till today, which I didn't, you could have almost gotten it down to 175. That's crazy. It's ridiculous. It was almost $10 through the strike. But yesterday was a really good exit in this, really good exit in this, in my opinion. Um, so again, let's take a look at it. Stock closed here the night before, 183.60. Gap down here, open in the morning at 175.39. And again, we did the 175 puts. It rallied before it fell into the close and then tanked yesterday. So again, it, options are one of these things where it's beautiful if they go the same day that you call them, but not every trade that I do goes that same day. I typically say I'm looking for 24 to 48 hours, 24 to 48 hours. And this pretty much took 24 to 48 hours. So again, you could have got out of it yesterday. You could have got out of it today. You could still be in it. This trade is still up right now, even here at this moment. And it's got a week left to go, which is nuts. But when you're up a lot of money in something and you're going into the weekend, and again, there's so many different earnings going on right now that things could change the market, Fed meeting next week. You got to book profits. I think it's okay to hold some things. I definitely, definitely do. But you can't hold every trade to a piggy target. And this was kind of a piggy target, to be honest with you. <laughs> to be honest with you. So if you're someone that does not have a margin account, options really are the way to go for you because you can make money trading the gap moves that I'm doing on momentum without having a margin account by doing the options. Because if something costs $3, you are only paying that cost. It doesn't matter if the stock price is $177. Do you know what I'm saying? You don't need a margin account. So I, I, again, you know, people think they need all this money to trade. No, you don't. You could do options or you can open up an options account with $2,000 as a cash account. And again, a margin account, you need 25,000 unless you go prop. So this was a very, very nice trade. Really happy here. Excellent week for the stock swoosh. Looking forward to uh, next week. And if you're interested in more information and want to sign up for the live class in New York City, it is in September. Um, the next online class is not till October. So if you want to get in and start trading now, you can sign up for the live class in New York in September and get in and start trading with us. Have a great day, everyone.